that was really my story of how I came to Japan, the ups and downs being, you know, accepted and quitting a job before I even started and all of that stuff. I just wanna dance and feel good. Welcome back to my channel and in this video we are still on the story of how I ended up here in Japan the first part of the story I will link it right here for you if you haven't seen it yet please check it out before you actually watch this one because it's a continuation of the same story so without further ado let's just head right in okay so yeah this is the bag I'm just pulling one comment. I don't know which comment this is. And this person, really, it has to be Mr. Adam Webb. So I want to shout out uh, Adam Webb. That is my husband. Hey, honey, thank you for watching my videos and always commenting. And the comment that you left was... Uh, Definitely not going back to Japanese cuisine. Send up everything from yard. And this comment was left under my video about getting Jamaican food in Japan. If you have not seen that video, I will link it right here for you. Thank you so much for watching and commenting, Adam, husband, baby, honey. <laughs> All right, now back to the video. All right, guys, so yes, um, it was time to go to Japan. I had all my documents ready, all my visas for the two countries that I'll be going to and traveling through and everything was set. But one particular thing happened that I have to mention here just before we go to the flight to go to Japan, right? And that was the position that I got offered um, by this company was in a very different uh, prefecture than where Adam was. And I had to mention to my recruiter that I am really not 100% comfortable working in another prefecture because I wanted to go into the prefecture where Adam was because that was really the point of me applying for a job anyway. And she started to ask questions like who is Adam and so on. And because I think the boyfriend um, story would not sell, I had said that he's my fiance and yada yada yada. And you know, she was saying that she understands why I want to work in his prefecture and all of that. But I think she was starting to get worried because right after that she started sending me a lot of questions about adam like is he a jamaican is where is he working blah 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 so i th i think that they were starting to get worried that i they would sponsor me to come to japan and then i would quit the company which happened <laughs> that i would quit the company because i wanted to be where he is and you know being an alt in japan you have to be committed to your one-year contract because when these recruiters send your name to um board of education here and tell them that they have an alt for their schools it is settled and they are looking forward to meet you and if you just quit on them like that they have to start a new recruiting process to try to find somebody else to fill your position and by that time it would have been too late so i really don't advise anybody to you know allow a company to sponsor their visa and then come over here and then quit i did that because you know what they got rude with me at one point so yes fast forward to that um she asked me i told her that you know what it's fine so we've talked about it and as long as i'm in japan it would be easy for us to see each other anyway so i'm going to go ahead with the job now guys i did not intend to stay with that company once i was not in that prefecture and you know that is that was a very hard thing to do but i did it for my better interest you know and yeah that was basically it i left jamaica in march 2018 it is now almost march 2020 so you can do the math i've been here a while okay yeah so i came to japan went through you know the u.s and all of that stuff had a 14 hour long layover in atlanta so it was actually jamaica to atlanta a 17 hour layover in atlanta and then from atlanta to narita airport which was a 14 hour flight and like i said in the beginning of this video it was my first time traveling so it was an experience for me in my layover for those 17 hours i was basically in the airport floor because i was so scared to book a hotel because 
You know, if you grow up Jamaicans, your mother always tell you, or your parents always tell you, no go nowhere, we're strange, you know, so I was very afraid to like book a hotel or so. Just to not be at the airport, I would have a panic attack and anxiety attack or something. So I stayed in the airport, but my dad, and it was in Atlanta, and my dad was in Florida, so of course I couldn't be with him, and I, you know, I don't know of any family members in Atlanta. And yeah, I stayed in the airport 17 hours on the concrete, slept this, that, eat. I mean, I left, I bought some burger. Funny story, bought some burger. Then I ate some, left the burger with, I think, one of my suitcases where I was sitting and went to the bathroom. When I came back, the burger bag was still there, but another man came over to where I was and said, don't eat that, somebody took fries out of your burger bag and I was like people do that as I said it's my first time traveling I don't know what the hell goes on in airports okay and then funny enough the next morning when I was in the souvenir shop trying to buy a neck pillow for travel because the travel the flight coming up was going to be 14 hours long I needed a pillow so when I went into the souvenir shop a man came up to me and said you I ate your burger last night I ate your fries last night and I was like Oh, you are the one that did that? And he was like, yeah, I was hungry. But okay. And I was, that was strange to me, actually. So yeah, that was my flight. I did the whole 14 hour flight that was on Delta Airlines. And it was very good. You know, I enjoyed it very much. Woo! <laughs> and I ate a lot of nice food. And then I went to Japan and of course Adam was there waiting on me. Went through the whole process, got my residence card for one year. At this time I was still sponsored by the same company. They had no idea that I was going to quit. And um, quit before you even start, huh? Ridiculous. So yeah, I went downstairs, I saw Adam. We, re we reunited, you know, after eight months it was awesome 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 so at that point what should have happened was that i should have been booking into a hotel to go to the training for that company so what would have happened was that i should have been going to a hotel so that i could go to that company's training for their new teachers and so on but i did not do that i went home to Adam's apartment at the time and then the next day I messaged them and told them that I am sorry but I won't be able to accept the contract and guys I'm telling you it was a very hard decision to make but my heart was not there I would be very miserable because I was coming to Japan to be with Adam I wasn't coming here to be five hours by bullet train from him like that's a ridiculous amount of time and we don't have money we I mean the whole point of coming to Japan is to save so we weren't comfortable and so I just decided to, to stop it but the good thing about it is when you do that they actually cannot revoke your visa or anything because it's it's all said and done you already have your residence card and all of that so when I sent them that message of course they were interested in why and so on I gave them the brief why you know i just wasn't comfortable and at that point they were trying to now understand me because when i mentioned it before they were like i'm sorry but you know you can't really get your option of going to that prefecture and all of that stuff and when i mentioned it now that that is the reason why i'm quitting they were all understandable and like we will try to get you a position here and there in where you want to be and i was like it's too late so what happened was that i spent at least Three months I got to Japan in March as I said March 9th 2018 and between March and May I was unemployed all right and that was really a decision that Adam and I made at the time and I thank God for him because you know as a boyfriend telling your girlfriend to make or deciding with your girlfriend to make these kinds of choices where he is going to have, have to be basically my provider for as long as it takes to get a new job that is commendable so that is what we did i did not go to that job and then i spent the next three months you know applying for a new job and i was it it was it was a very stressful time on our relationship because at that time too adam was in 
an Aikaiwa job and that is another kind of English teaching job that you can get in Japan where you're not in the public schools but you're actually in the private school system and the hours are a bit hard on life because you go to work at like midday and then you leave work at like 9 10 so I was at home all day every day of course by the time I wake up he's off to work by the time he gets in from work it's bedtime so there were there was really no time for us to you know connect and chat and do all the things go out have fun during this period of time I usually took I took the time to you know apply for new jobs and so on and then I found a job that was hiring one more time guys and I applied to them they got back to me same process over again but it would have been easier because I I was in Japan already and you know the process of getting the certificate of eligibility and the visa and all of that would be eliminated but the, the, <laughs> the sad part of the story again was that with this new company it still was not where Adam was living and that was a problem but <laughs> I mean <laughs> we worked through it so yes guys I applied to another company they messaged me back was very interested in employing me and the only problem was that you know it was in another prefecture very far away even further than the one that the other company you know offered to me before and that was when Adam and I whoa it's bright whoa it's bright my glass have tint to block the Sun and so it looks cloudy like this but then when I go like this it's like oh all right so I'm gonna have to put back this on all right so yeah and that was where Adam and I that was where Adam and I, that was where Adam and I had to you know have some serious heart to heart and really decide on me actually not working in Shizuoka and how we were going to do this long relationship um, this long distance relationship one more time and as I said I hate long distance relationships so that was very stressful for me to be going through that again but we did decide that I should take the offer from that company move to the other prefecture and at that time it was about May 2018 and Adam's contract would have ended in August of the same year and so he said once more another promise big up yourself husband yeah so <laughs> once again um, he made another promise that you know what I should take the job in the other prefecture and what he will do is he will not renew his contract for that job he will quit that job and then he will try to get a job in the prefecture where I was living and that is what we decided and so when I did the interview with this new company I told them that I still stuck I still stuck with the fiance story I told them that my fiance is now working in Shizuoka and you know he'll believe in his job very soon and I would love to he would love to move to where I was going to be working and so if they have a job position that they could offer him um, that would be very good bear in mind people that Adam quitting his Aikawa job would be a massive decrease in in his income because working in the public school the pay for ALT is massively lower than um, a pay for an Aikawa job so he was making that sacrifice to decrease his pay by at least fifty thousand dollars or so so yeah that's what he did I spoke to my recruiter for the new company regarding that they had said that they weren't sure that a position would be available but after I did my interview they actually emailed me and said um, they wanted to interview Adam as well and when Adam got in from work that night he did the interview and you know what God favored us one more time and they were able to offer me an immediate position and then they offered Adam a position after he would have ended his contract with his company so September 
Adam was able to continue his job knowing that he had a job waiting for him in September when he got to where I was and I was comfortable with that because at that time it was about May, June, July, August, three months. It was easy plus summer was coming up and what I did do is that I moved to the new prefecture but summer was very close and so I went back to Shizuoka and spent summer holidays with Adam in Shizuoka prefecture and then by the time school started back it was September and it was time for him to move to where I was so that is basically how I got to Japan and guys I mentioned some really serious things in this video do not apply to a company and then leave them at the last minute I swear to you I only did it because it felt right and I, I, I just could not I was just not prepared to be in a foreign country for the first time without the person that would make me feel comfortable being in a foreign country for the first time if you understand but it is very hard on these companies to find a new person to replace you when you quit on them immediately so I really don't recommend it don't do it and yeah that was really my story of how I came to Japan the ups and downs being you know accepted and quitting a job before I even started and all of that stuff so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions any any questions please leave them in the comments below I will of course answer them and if you want to see a video as I said in part one if you want to see a video of how you can get a job as an ALT or Aikaiwa in Japan please do comment that in the description below and i'll create that video for you yes guys and of course if you want even more in-depth information um about like you know the differences between being a teacher in jamaica being a teacher in japan just the whole culture difference and how that affects us as you know jamaicans and so on my husband mr adam webb has a book coming out on that specific topic it is coming out this year we're in february you know um what's the name of the book honey Yes, the book is titled Jamaica to Japan, where all the details uh, will be there for, you know, Jamaicans wanting to come to Japan and all of that. And of course, it will give you way more information that I can ever get on this camera and give to you. So please look forward to that. And as soon as the book drops, I will be included, including the link in the description below. So it will be easier for you to get at that time. So yes, guys, this is where I'm leaving you. I hope you have a very good day please remember to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel as you know this is no that is not what i want to say where gone So back to what I was saying. <laughs> 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 <laughs>